Here we have a review of the Hasbro 2021 PulseCon exclusive Power of the Force Cantina Showdown. This playset comes with the cantina you see in the background, as well as Dr. Evazan, Ponda Baba, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's packaged in that original Kenner look from the early 90s with a, a nice holographic foil on the front, so you can see a bit of a shimmer in there. And overall, this packaging for this is really beautiful. It's reminiscent of when we were playing with toys from our, the good old days. And we have some nice shots on the back from the cantina scene in the film. A little bit difficult to see on film with the holographic, but it's a cool look there. Now taking this out of the packaging a little bit, we do have a nice backdrop in the, the back there of the cantina interior, as well as some accessories packaged here on the side. We do have Obi-Wan's lightsaber, a couple of canteens, and then some cups there as well. I will say that this was packaged extremely well which I do appreciate because when they're shipping something of this size and of this value, I want it to arrive in good care. But it was quite a bit of a pain to get everything out of here if you're trying not to destroy the packaging. If you don't care about the packaging, then you could probably just rip it out. But if you want to be a bit more delicate like I was, it did take quite a bit of time to remove everything so I can try and put it back together and keep things as mint as possible. Now starting with the cantina bar, we do have the counter here in the front. It does come apart into two pieces. It's a hard snap at the top and a small peg there at the bottom that just plugs in. You can attach this on either side. And if you have a second set, then you can make a full bar, which is pretty cool. Again, hard snap at the top, small peg in the bottom. Now, as for the paint app, it's not really that great, to be honest. They have an attempt at a wash under the bar ledge and along the base, but it really comes off just pretty plasticky. So it's a pretty pitiful attempt, in my opinion, to be honest. The inside or back side of the bar is just the plastic structure, so nothing to look at there. This really is just a front display piece, but still pretty cool and nice that you can make a full bar if you have a second set. Now, as for the drinks themselves, this comes fully apart. All these little pieces, the pipes, the bases all come apart. It actually fell apart on me when I was taking it out of the package and it took me a little bit to figure out how everything went back together. But it's cool because you can rearrange this in any way you want. They have extra peg holes up here so you can do something totally different, especially again, if you have a second bar. You can plug these together. You can see you have the connectors here on the back side to plug it and make a, a full little barge stand there. This piece did fall out. It was a little loose and had difficulty staying in. Um, so not the greatest implementation of making it configurable and plug and play, but it's a, a nice thought for sure. And then as for the paint, not a lot going on. This piece is really plain. Uh, you have a sort of glossy shine to the metal up here, but it would have been nice to get some more wash, especially in these grooves and cracks to make it feel a bit more dated and a bit more used. Overall though, pretty cool piece. Nice to put on display and have it in the background. As for accessories, we are pretty limited. So we do have the three cups that I mentioned earlier and those flasks or canteens. And then each of the figures, Dr. Evazan, Honda Baba and Obi-Wan Kenobi all come with their own weapons. So Dr. Evason and Ponda Baba have blasters and then Obi-Wan has his lightsaber. And like the other Jedi lightsabers we've seen of recent years, it does disassemble so you can have him holding just the lightsaber hilt. Or if you want to ignite that lightsaber, it plugs back in. And then also Obi-Wan does come with a cloth goods robe as well that you could take off if you have just want to have the undergarments there. Now to review each of the figures. Dr. Everson comes with a soft plastic vest. He has some nice sculpt detail with that rip in his chest and that shirt. 
some pretty gruesome detail on the face. You have his holster and then just the rest of his outfit. For his articulation, so his arm comes up about that much. Full 360 spin. Joints are a little tight, loose out of the box, or new out of the box. Got about 90 degree on that elbow. Then you can bend the wrist forward and backward, and full swivel there. Do you have a double joint at the head and neck? Can look down about that much, look up about that much, spin all the way around. For our leg articulation, you can split out about that far. Kick back, you are inhibited a little bit by the soft plastic, but not too much since it does move with you. Kick forward. Do you have a double jointed knee there so you can get a far kick back? Looks like we do have a thigh swivel as well. For our ankle joint, you can kick about that far forward and about that far back. Really tight knee out of the box and then Full swivel there. And ab crunch. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of ab crunch with this vest in the way. Yeah, not much ab crunch at all. Although I don't think you need much ab crunch for this figure. He's really going to be standing in the background at your cantina, um, interacting a little bit, but yeah, you don't need a whole lot of action poses with him. Overall, the, the sculpt is really great on this. Even on the, the vest, you have a nice leathery texture to it. That detail on the face is great. Nice rip in the vest. And then pouches, hair, etc. Now for Ponda Baba, do you have a soft plastic for that jacket part of it? Boots, and then you have the nice testicle chin there as well. Uh, again, good sculpt on this with all the details on the hair, wrinkles on the nose, not too much detail. You do have sleeves, the detail on the sleeves and down the side of the leg, um, but great paint app as well. I imagine our articulation is about the same on this. Um, he does kick quite a bit further to the side. Our thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and can kick forward, backward with the toe, and swivel all around. As for our head, I think we're going to have a bit more limited range of motion. Can't really look too far back, more straight up. Can look down, can look around, and then for ab crunch, not getting a whole lot, but you can swivel to the side. Really like the orange paint on this, it really pops. A nice contrast against the skin tone, uh, but overall that paint is really good on there. And then now for the Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. So again, we do have the soft goods robe, which we can take off and we can go ahead and take it off right now just so we can see the actual sculpt a bit better. So we have nice detailing on the robes there, soft plastic for the bottom part of the robe. That is going to limit the range of motion for the legs, but not too much since it is pretty giving. So arm, Motion doesn't lift up that far, not even a full 90. Does do a full spin. 90 on the elbow. And then 
nice swivel at the wrist. No ab crunch, but you can rotate at the waist there. For the leg, you can pull it all the way up to the side since you have the slit in the robe. Forward and backwards, about that far backward, about that far forward. Let's uh, do the, see if I can get the thigh swivel there. Maybe. A little bit. Um, we do have double jointed knee, although it is pretty tight on that joint. There we go. Double jointed knee there. And then our ankle forward, backward, and around. For the head, to the side, forward, backward. There's not a whole lot of going on with the paint, so we do have the detailing on the belt there, and then the detailing on the face. The rest of it is pretty flat in terms of color tone. Uh, we do have the shine on the face with both Obi-Wan as well as Dr. Evazan. This is something that Hasbro has been doing a lot now that they've gotten to their photorealistic. They have this shine on the faces, which I'm not a huge fan of because it glares. I would have preferred more a matte finish on the face paint, but the actual application on the face looks really good. This is a, a pretty good likeness there. And then nice detailing in the beard and hair as well. I'm putting the robe back on, I don't really expect this to inhibit any of our articulation since it is fully soft goods, but we'll do a quick run through. And still do the 360 with the arm, full 90 there, and that's the same height we could get without the robe. Yeah, so no restrictions there. Overall, these figures, they look really great. Uh, I think it's a, a nice addition to the set, especially getting Pondo Baba and Dr. Everson. That's a, a really big win. Obi-Wan you can get elsewhere and individually, but getting these within the set is a super great addition. Now for our height measurements, Dr. Everson stands at about five and three quarters inches. Pondo Baba stands at about five and a half inches and Obi-Wan Kenobi stands at about five and three quarters inches as well. For the bar pieces, the bar stands at about four inches in height to the lower countertop, and then about six and three quarters to that top pipe. And it is about six inches wide and for the countertop the straight section is about five inches the curved section is about four inches so you're looking at about nine inches total length and the height of that sits at about three and a half, three and a quarter inches. Now for our height comparisons, we do have all of the 2021 PulseCon exclusives here. We have the Cantina Showdown set with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Pondo Baba, and Dr. Everson, as well as the individual exclusive Trapper Wolf. And here we have the Cantina Showdown set with R2-D2 and C-3PO. And here we have them next to Maul and Hondo Anaka. And here we have them next to Commander Cody. Overall, I think the Cantina Showdown is a fun playset, but it's not without its issues. Some of the things I'd like to see improved are alternate hands. I know the Black Series doesn't really do alternate hands, but when you're giving us accessories like these, such as these cups and the can canteens or flasks, there really should be a way for the characters to hold them. As you can see right now, I just have those cups sitting on the countertop and I'm trying to pretend 
like they're holding the cups, but they're not. And I had to use blue tack to get those canteens to, to sit in Obi-Wan's hands because there's no way to get them to actually stay within the grip of his hands, which is unfortunate because when you're spending this money and you're getting these accessories, you do expect them to actually work with the figures. Additionally, the paint application on the cantina itself on the bar could use a lot of improvement. The attempt at a wash on the bar counter is not great. And then putting a little bit more effort into some wash on the mechanics of the, the bar on the rear would have been really great as well. Finally, I think if you're spending this money, it would be great to give you the full set. So don't make us buy two sets, especially when they're exclusives and hard to get and at this price point, and then we don't have a full bar. I would like to have the way to complete the bar within the single set, even if that means paying a, a little bit more of a premium up front. But again, this is a, a fun play set and I think it'll look great in scenes. The bar couldn't use improvement, but in the background, I think it's gonna look great.